good day. I am John Virgilio C. Cabildo, your student nurse for today from Our Lady of Fatima University, Quezon City. And today, I will be demonstrating assessing reflexes. And just like everything else, we're gonna wash our hands, provide for patient privacy, introduce ourselves, and verify the client's identity. We're gonna explain to the client what we are going to do, why is it necessary, and how he or she can cooperate. Test the reflexes using a percussion hammer, comparing one side of the body to the other to evaluate the symmetry of response. Reflex testing contributes to accurate bedside diagnosis in many cases of neuromuscular disease. The first reflex that we're going to assess is the biceps reflex. Biceps reflex tests the spinal cord C5 and C6. Partially flex the client's arm at the elbow and rest the forearm over the thighs, placing the palm of the hand down. Place the thumb of your non-dominant hand horizontally over the biceps tendon. Deliver a blow or a slight downward thrust with a percussion hammer to your thumb. Observe the normal slight flexion of the elbow and feel the biceps contraction through your thumb. Next, the triceps reflex. Triceps reflex tests the spinal cord level C7 and C8. Flex the client's arm at the elbow and support it in the palm of your non-dominant hand. Palpate the triceps tendon about 2 to 5 centimeters or 1 to 2 inches above the elbow. Deliver a blow with a percussion hammer directly to the tendon. Observe for the normal slight extension of the elbow. Next, brachioradialis reflex. Brachioradialis reflex tests the spinal cord C3 and C6. Rest the client's arm in a relaxed position or on your forearm or on the client's own leg. Deliver a blow with a percussion hammer directly on the radius 2 to 5 cm or 1 to 2 inches above the wrist or the styloid process, the bony prominence on the thumb's side of the wrist. Observe the normal flexion and supination of the forearm. If no response occurs and the client is not relaxed, ask the client to interlock fingers and pull. And next, Achilles reflex. Achilles reflex tests the spinal cord levels S1 and S2. With the client in the same position as for the patella reflex test, slightly dorsiflex the client's ankle by supporting the foot lightly in your hand. Deliver a blow directly to the Achilles tendon just above the heel. Observe the normal plantar flexion of the foot. And last, plantar or Babinski reflex. Plantar or Babinski reflex is superficial. It might be absent in adult without pathology or overridden by voluntary control. Use a moderately sharp object such as the handle of the percussion hammer, a key, or a dull end of a pin or applicator stick. Stroke the lateral border of the sole of the client's foot, starting at the heel, continuing to the ball of the foot, and then proceeding across the ball of the foot towards the big toe. Observe the response. Normally, all five toes bend downward. This reaction is negative Babinski's. In an abnormal Babinski response, the toes spread outward and the big toe moves upward. And that's it! That was my video on how to do assessing reflexes. Once again, I am John Virgilio C. your student nurse from Our Lady of Fatima University, Quezon City. Good day!